We get T.J. Zoic this afternoon after a late scratch by Ross Stripling. T.J. gets the ball for the second start of the season. His first one came against the Yankees, and he pitched very effectively. So here's Aaron Hicks. First pitch of the ball game is cut on and lifted into center field. Kutchik backing up a few steps. One pitch, one out. The Yankees are the only team in the majors that have not scored a first inning run this year. So now that's the cue for Judge. They had a home run right here. It's Everybody's talking about it. That one is drilled to left field, and that ball is gone. See ya. They've got a first inning run. They have a one nothing lead. But Aaron Judge, I'd rather see you hit a home run than go along with my scouting report. Good job, Michael. Way to call it. <laughs> a Judgean blast. And as he rounds third, all rise. Oh, and one rounded oh, toward first. Zoic will have to hustle over there. It's bang, bang, Tarek Pelez to Zoic and Gardner's weak time to win. 0 oh, 2 pitch. And on it is. TJ Zoic bounces back after the home run. The judge gets the next two batters, but the Yankees have a 1 0 lead as we head to the bottom of the first. Corey Kluber. Kluber making his third start of the year. Six in the third inning so far with five walks. He struck out eight. With the White Sox, he's four for 20. Pitch is cut on him. Struck him out swinging. One man out, bottom of the first, a 2 2. Grounded to third. Urshela makes the throw. Crossing in front of him was Bichette. First and third, two men out for Biggio. 1 2. Swing and a miss. Kluber gets Biggio to get out of trouble. Ground ball, this should be two. Bichette. The second and over to first double play. So once again, the Yankees uncharacteristically hit a lot of ground balls. And that cost them a double play right there. So here's a guy that needs to get the going with the bat. Alejandro Kirk, the catcher, making his fifth start of the season. He's 0 for 13 so far. And a high drive to left field. This ball's going to go. Get up, ball. Get out of here. Kirk with his first home run of the season. It's his first hit of the season, and the Blue Jays have a 2 1 lead. Here's the hanging breaking ball, and he he doesn't miss it. Five home runs in the second inning. That's the most in baseball. This has popped up and playable. Bichette giving a long run. Guriel over, and Bichette stays with it to make the catch in fair territory. My bow ran a long way considering he was playing in the shift up the middle. Would you want a one pitch ground out or a three pitch strikeout? And another drive to left field. Gurriel hustling back. He's got room. He makes the catch. Gashioka got jammed a bit on that pitch. Pitch too fine. Ground ball up the middle. Vigio from near the bag at second. Throws him up. Here's Bo Bichette, a right hand hitter to lead it off against Kluber. A fly ball to right, Judge going back. This ball's carrying. This ball is gone. Mo Bichette is on fire. And of course, all of these young Blue Jays played here in Dunedin in their path to the majors. That swing looks like he played here. The hands go forward, the barrel stays back. That's how you get in. in Side that baseball and drive at the right field. The wind aids that one out of here. Judge Homeward in the first inning. Yankees don't have any other hit. That one's driven to center field and deep. Turning and looking. Richard, see ya. A long home run <laughs> to the right of dead center. A monster shot by Judge. And the Yankees now trail by one, three to two. A fastball right there. Get one belt high right there. Ouch. <laughs> well, here is Geo with second and third and two men out. Now the 1 1. Geo swings and rips a line drive, base hit to left field. One run scores. Goriel's throw home is way offline, and two runs score. And the Yankees take the lead. A two run base hit by Geo Urshela. Pitch is swung on and chopped over the mound to second. Flip to short one. On to first. It is a double play. You're going to give up home runs. And, uh, you know, he, he, he has done that. But, you know, he and Tyon, to me, uh, look like they can be good again. As this ball gets by Aaron Judge. And Biggio is off to the races. 
And he's going to be in there with three. And now he's going to try to come home. Uh. And they have him in a rundown. And he'll be tagged out by Higashioka. And that will do it. And lines it. And they got a shot at first. And there's Rowdy Telez and another double play. Bruce has had a rough start to his afternoon. So Loisic has worked himself into a bases loaded, nobody out jam. So here is Palacios. Or something away off speed. Grounded and grabbed by Bruce. He fires home. There's one. And that's all they'll get. Bases remain loaded for the leadoff man, Marcus Simeon. Ball in the dirt that gets by. Here comes Telez. He's going to score, and the Blue Jays have tied it. That ball in the dirt gets away from Agashioka. Rowdy Telez is one of the best base runners on the team. Popped up. Shallow center field. Cutting in front is Gardner. The runner at third, Kurt Holtz. Round it to Torres. And he gets Pichette. That one's grounded right to Odor. Swing and a miss. Overpowered him. Two away. And Semyon with a high fly ball. Left field. We're going to the ninth. All tied at four. No run to hit, no errors. One man left. Well, he extended his hit streak to 11 straight. Hit his third home run of the season back in the third. Breaking ball high in the air. Hicks ranging back at the wall, at the track. Get out of here. God, a walk off home run for Bo Bichette. Have a day, Bo. His other home run went to right field. We mentioned the base hiss. It only took him 86 games to get to 50 career extra base hits. Add two more today. And the Blue Jays are going to win the series against the Yankees, just like they did at Yankee Stadium on a walk-off this time.